All right, what's happening today is uh, I really didn't like uh, how my axle sits now. And look at this. There's like nails everywhere here. Um, but basically because the, the shop replaced these, right? They could not put this block in this spot where it was before. And so they put it like this. Because you know, if they put it here, all the weight again will be on this one, right? And so they put it here and you can see there's a gap. So the whole thing sits just on one corner of this. And basically I decided to remove the top pin. And when I, I tried the other side, even with all the nothing, I didn't touch anything, but that pin was loose over there. So I was able to take it out and then I hooked up a chain I hooked up a chain like this and I started tensioning them together, you know? And after a few turns of the binder, I was able to get out the other pin. So now the challenge is, so basically right now, this whole thing is only held by a chain. <laughs> you know, I wanted, I wanted to go ask the shop for, for the forklift, but I know they always, Oh, we cannot do that, you know. So you see now, this is very tight. So that's 3,000 pounds sits on this. And the issue is, I want to keep turning until it falls out. Like these things will just fall out. But then we have probably six inches and this thing will just drop, you know. And I don't want that. And so what we're going to do now is, Hook up a secondary chain. And this part here where I'm standing, it's still, it's still the other axle that sits on blocks. So there's no danger. We all trained professionals here.
gonna just check. So the bottom pins, yeah, so you see the bottom pins are in. It cannot go anywhere. So it sits on this, on this. But there's probably a bit more weight on these. But we'll see what happens. This is the last option that I had in mind for hauling these uh, as a tandem. So they, if it, those pads break again, that means that... Interesting. We have parts falling around here. <laughs> no, that's not my wheel, wheel nut, so we're safe. Oh, it's probably for something from something they were doing what they were doing they were changing that one they were opening the connectors oh it's that one you see it's the old uh, nut from here and for some reason they all loose i'm just gonna put it on top just in case I lose one of them so anyway so now we're riding like this in style and the plan is next time I you know when I'm uh, when I have to lift it I'll just ask the guy at first to lift it a little bit till this touch is here and then I enter the pin insert the pin and then we can take it off so I don't know I think this should work but it's don't like like this one is really a bit uh, deformed but we'll be keeping an eye on it you know like next stop we're gonna see what happens but for now I didn't have any breakfast I just had like a bagel but now I feel like I need some food you know before I hit the road and head back to Canada <laughs> 